Hey guys, Kevin here, and I want to show you this cool new video, actually a new feature that we put inside the software for you guys, and something you guys have been asking for. So, what did we put in? Well, you guys have been asking for AI, so we added it in there. But AI, way, way better to make your guys' life a lot easier. And you guys can go in there and ask it anything that you guys want. Let's go check it out and see what it looks like. All right, so you guys will notice over here on the right hand side, I clicked on my solid cam icon over here and you'll notice the new chatbot feature right here. So let's test it out and see how good it really is. And guys, this thing is phenomenal from our side. So I, if I seem excited about this when I'm talking about it, it's because it really is because it's so cool. All right, so let's say we're in our iMachining operation right here. And uh, we'll give it a second to open. And I do my saving calculate. Uh, yep, we'll save it again. And ooh, I'm getting an error now. Feed is not in range. Check machine ID file. Well, two things I can do here. Either A, I got to call my solid cam guy and have him help me figure this out. Or I can go over to the chat bot and I can copy that message in. So what it mean by that is let me pull over our chat bot right here and this is our chat bot that you guys can pretty much ask it any questions that you want but even cooler let's say you guys are getting this error or any other error that the software uh, kicks out for you and you're not sure what it, the error is for or what things that you need to be need to be fixed screenshot it okay so screenshot of that error let's bring back our chat bot here and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually upload that photo. So we'll go in here and there's my screenshot that I just had and give it a second to pop up and I can just go, what is that question mark? Well, let's see what the chat bot comes up with here. And look at, I, all I did is put a screenshot in there with the question mark. It recognizes what the error is and what things I need to change to go along with it. So this is really gonna help you guys out a ton, you know, when you're getting, if a, some sporadic error that pops up, you guys can just copy and paste that in there or manually type it in there. So let's check out a couple more things in here. Um, let's see, uh, we'll do uh, change whole, change whole wizard. So let's say I wanted to change up my whole wizard process and instead of using that quarter inch drill to do everything, it's I want to use a half inch. So I can just come in here, change my whole wizard. Okay, so not only are we getting written instructions step by step for you guys going through here, we also have document one. So let's check out document one. Let's go to view page. It's going to bring you right to the PDF document where it's talking about the whole wizard process and how to modify it, okay? So that's document number one. I don't have to navigate through anything. I don't have to do any searching anymore on finding errors. Oh, this is music to my ears, guys. All right, document two, let's check that one out. View page, brings me right to my whole wizard process again. Different document, of course. Now, the really cool thing is, well, the piece that I like the most is the webinars. I hate reading, guys. You know that. Uh, so the webinars, we love to watch our movies or videos on there and our training videos. So what it did is it went through all of our videos that myself has done, that Sydney, that our entire team has done, and it looks through all those webinars and finds those. But not only is it going to find the webinar, let's go view webinar, it's, it's going to fast forward to the exact point where it starts talking about how to modify that whole wizard process. So very, very smart technology here, very, very cool stuff. Um, let's check out what webinar number two has. We can go view webinar, and you can see this is a different webinar here, but as I clicked on it, it already started at 24 minutes right when Ken starts talking about how to modify the whole wizard process. So I guess what I'm getting at here, everyone, is come check out the new chat bot. Tell us what you guys think about it. It is 
ask any question pertaining to machining, solid cam, solid works, inventor, anything in there, it will answer for you guys. And uh, definitely come check it out. Have a great one, guys. See ya.